Good morning and welcome to Visit Fail Coast. I'm saying good morning because it's nine o'clock on Thursday morning in February. It's drizzling. I've just put my hood down. I've had my hood up. It's that right fine stuff that's on you. And we're going to go and take a look inside my favourite watering hole, the venue. Because you might have already seen that it's had a bit of a makeover. It's had a transformation. And it's looking very gorgeous. So when the weather outside is frightful, when it's grey and, and drizzly and misly like this, there's always a warm welcome waiting inside the venue on Cleveland's seafront. You can never keep a good dog walking around. There's a few, few people already out and about early this morning walking their beloved pooches. And usually it's quite busy on here, actually. It starts at, at, well, before first light and it carries on all day long. So if you carry on, if you carry on down there, there's some free parking at the end of the promenade. This is Russell Beach, which is mostly not tidal. So there's always a little bit of beach to walk on. Plenty of seats to sit on. These are all memorial benches. And then when you've enjoyed, when you've enjoyed the weather, but not this kind of weather, you can take a walk into the venue. So you might be wondering what all this, all, all this clutter is. Well, this is the Wire Beach Management Project and the guys are just currently mobilising to get themselves organised and they're doing some work on the beach. So it's nothing to do with the venue. Um, but if you've got children that love diggers, then they'll be away, bring them to see the diggers. So this is the outside dining and, and eating area which I've used on many a sunny occasion which is very nice for a lovely day outside terrace just imagine it with the sun cracking the flags and beautiful glorious weather sitting here behind the behind the screen so that you're not in the breeze beautiful couldn't really wish for much better could you sunsets sunsets galore and i'll take you in i'll take you in this this entrance that entrance there is disabled access for wheelchairs etc obviously this is for people who can climb four steps so there's some pictures to go up still in the entrance which have come from our seaside emporium shop celebrate the wedding the wedding, our wedding, your wedding. The venue is approved by Lancashire County Council as a venue for the solemnisation of marriages. And upstairs is La Mesa Luna, which is where us naughty people go for our Christmas meals and then we can make as much noise as we like. And in here is where we are going to go and take a look. So the venue Beachfront Bar and Grill has had a complete makeover and now looks very modern and very swish and very, very attractive. And as you might expect from an establishment so near to the beach and with so many dog walkers, it's dog friendly. Today, this is the dog friendly area because there's a, a party booked into the um, back area. But that's, that's the dog friendly area for today. This is the bar. Note that it's all decked out in soothing, soothing seaside colours. Sand and sea and obviously the waves. So as you walk along these, sort of look like they're rippling. Very nice. And the carpet as well. Pebbles. Lots of pebbles. Very nice. I do like it. Oh, what a lovely picture. These are available on Seaside Emporium on, on our own website. So there's a Mary Shell one. You might remember the paintings were downstairs before. And most of them have been moved around and put upstairs with the new, the new look. And here's your beautiful seafront. Gorgeous view, but not on the 16th of February. It's still lovely to watch. It's still a lovely, lovely view. I mean, even on a day like this, it's still very nice. 
So what we now call the venue first opened in 1937 as the Royal Hotel, which you can see by a lot of the Art Deco features. In fact, there's still the original Art Deco mouldings and skirting boards and things. Oh, they're nice pictures. And it reopened after its refurbishment as the beach from Bar and Grill. And did you know it was used as a Polish Airman's Hospital during World War II? And as I said, as I said, it's still important for parties and weddings and just because and all the rest of it. And of course you can have all the fun of the seaside. And you can take your selfies. There you go, take your pictures on the way out, record your, record your visits. This is the disabled access lock just outside here. It's a ramp and you can pull your car up there in front of the, in front of the doorway. So it's on three floors. There's the Spirit Nightclub downstairs and La Mezzaluna upstairs. And there's also free parking as well as it being dog friendly. I'm going to take you round, round the back to where the, the dog area is normally. Um, but first of all, I wanted to just show you the menu. Now, I'm intimately acquainted with the menu. <laughs> I've worked my way around most of it. <laughs> so these are particular favourites. We like the cauliflower bites. We like the garlic mushroom pot. Um, we like we like the prawn and salmon platter. That's nice. Chips are fabulous. Um, vegetarian, gluten free, Yorkshire pudding dippers. Now I've not actually tried that wrapped in a Yorkshire pudding, but I can highly recommend the ciabatta version. Very very nice. BLT is lovely. My friend Liz enjoys the goat's cheese bruschetta. We've done the fish fingers, the prawn and salmon ciabatta. We've done most of most of these. And there's some new new menus, menus on the venue. <laughs> or something like that. Cottage pie is delightful. Lasagna is. Cheese and onion pie is. You tell you tell which way this is going, can't you? In fact it's making me hungry just looking at it. Um Red vegetable curry is gorgeous. Mules marinade is back on the menu. If anybody, if anybody fancies that, seafood linguine always nice. And there's a burger somewhere as well. I think it might have been a special. I had a burger a couple of weeks ago. Now this, this is an epic if you fancy trying it. Full, full roast served on a. I think it's that one. That one. Delicious, highly recommended. So that's the front bit. So we wanted to show you around while it's all brand new and it all looks nice. And while it's empty and there's nobody in. So this is where you order your food and your drinks. And the kitchen. That's the disabled access which comes round that way round, round the ramp. I love this new bar. I love these wavy, wavy lines and the lights. So it's all set out for a function. This is, this is normally the dog friendly area, but you can, you can actually screen it off and use it for a private function. We, we actually had um, Chrissy's funeral here, which was lovely, it was really nice. So the, the teas and the coffees and the the cups and everything are all set out ready and this is where the Russell Beach group gather after our beach cleans to be noisy and my are we noisy so there you go <coughs> so pop in pop in when you're around or if you're not around make a make a special journey come and come and see what delights are on offer there's a full dessert menu which I prefer to keep away from because well frankly they're all delicious. Um, I'll just show you that on the way past. Oh, lemon meringue tart. Oh. Sticky toffee pudding. The sticky toffee pudding is heaven in a bowl. Can't say anymore, and that's your drinks menu. And then there's a selection of events throughout the year, as well as if that's not enough. So you can see the lovely Jeanette Greenhoff. She's doing a psychic night, oops. 
And then these are the events for this year, but we'll put all these on the Visit Fylde Coast Events Guide and on Facebook so you can find them from there. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll try and resist the temptation to eat anything this morning <laughs> when they start cooking and it all starts smelling lovely. It's like, mmm. And there's your bar. Hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.